I said, I finally released my new comic strip. And fin- I finally took the time to do big Sunday, si- Sunday paper-sized comic strip. And I called it A Day with Albert. Because I always wanted to do a comic about myself in it. I even paid someone substantial money to do the drawings so that it looked 100% real Sunday comic strip. And now, all you people in the comments saying it sucks, saying it it doesn't make no sense, saying I forget, I should just forget it, forget I ever did it, go suicide myself because I'm never going to be famous comic strip guy. Well, I'm going to try just one more time to explain a comic strip I did to you people. Just one more, one more time. First off, okay, there, there I am, that's me. Obviously. Walking. Obviously. By myself. Obviously. All you people in the comment, oh... Where are the words? Oh, what, what, where's the thought balloon? What have you been, what are you, who are you? What are you doing? I am thinking. Look at my face, all the way thinking face. What, what is that? What other face is that? I don't need words because of what comes next. It's obvious that I'm thinking a nut job squirrel and that damn dancing ass it is. Like it wants you to sex with it. That makes no sense. Who the hell danced? Who the hell put a sex with a sexed a dancing squirrel in this whole world? Nobody. That is why I'm thinking. And that is why I'm angry. And it's why my face is like that. Obviously. And I repeat these squares a few times to show that there is time is passing. Because right? obviously I refuse to look at him if he's doing that with his hand. Now. You people acting confused in the comments. What is it that when you do hand like that? What is, what, where, where would you ever do a hand? Like, what is the whole thing of a hand that goes like that? See, you people with the iPhone, you don't even bother looking it up. Right? He's showing me his manicure. Oh, look, all fancy. Oh, oh, look what I can afford. Oh, I'm famous nut job squirrel. Look what I do with my hand. And because I ignored it, it now it break dances up my leg to, with that garbage music. Now, who forgot what you hear when break dancing happens? Right, I don't need to draw the little musical notes because you, everyone knows. Right? Now, I did want to think that maybe I'd have it moonwalk up my leg, but I did not want people to think I'm making him Michael Jackson squirrel, like he's Michael Jackson now, because, uh, you know, people think that it's a sex thing because my leg is leg is part of crutch. So, break danced up my leg, obviously. You Okay, and you realize that is the same squirrel. Right, we're clear on that. See, sometimes I don't know how deep the stupid goes with you people but okay who does who's okay he's doing what who does that posture who is always doing that same posture in all the movies all those movies from 1940s and the 1950s who's always in the same thing it's people who are dishing this posture of dishing. It's what you Instagram garbage people do all day long. And you didn't even know it was called dishing, did you? Oh, look at me. I got a smoothie. Oh, I'm famous nut job squirrel. Oh, look who I get to. I, I'm, I love being me because I get to hang out with Tim Robbins today. Uh, the other one. Oh, you rich and famous. I'm rich and famous. Oh, I'm famous squirrel. Good. Now, if that is exactly what he's doing with his face. Why do I need word balloon? 
What is the, you, you want the whole information twice. Why would you want that? Why would you ever want, because there's no, it never twice, for, it's never funny. If, it, 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 if you're getting the same thing twice, it's never funny. That is a comedy rule. It happens once and you're funny. And it happens twice and it's not funny. And you can tell by my face that I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with you, squirrel. I don't care who you get to. You tell me you hang out with Tim, um, Lou Diamond Phillip all day. Uh, what's his name? I don't even care. Now, what does a sick, degenerate squirrel do when you, from a shit movie, do when you insult it? It does the worst, most despicable thing an animal can do to a human. It gets its spit into me by biting me all the way down to my blood vessels. Like it's not bad enough it had to do all those sex movies. Now it's going to inseminate me with its saliva. So I'm, I'm going to punch it to try to kill it, obviously. Now, you people in the comments, what, and you're asking, kangaroo? I, like you, something bites you. Do, I can't believe I have to explain this. Something bites you. The joke is that it thinks you are a hot pocket now, or you just became a hot pocket for it. It's a classic joke. Everyone smart understands the joke. And now, what is the one thing that always has with it a pocket or a pouch? The one thing or animal that always has that. See, you just think of things. One time, this whole world of comic strips open up to you. And why is it upside down? Okay, that is me. I can't believe I have to... This is... That is me, like, saying to him, Hey, Kangi, looks like your hot pocket isn't working today. Because pocket does not work when it's upside down. How do you not know how pockets work? And because I was bit, I start getting the nut job sickness. Now, why else would my eyes look like that if it was not illness? Well, you think I'm getting hypnotized? Okay, and then you people in the comments, then tell me, where is the hypnotist? Huh? And you cannot say squirrel because you got punched. And you cannot say kangaroo because it's not really there. Right? The only way eyes do this in comics is because of illness and kids were gonna love this part because the getting bit by nut job squirrel gave me the power to see all the celebrity people and the instagram people in their true form which is gross monsters for kids look at because kid look at them the, Kids love this, the tr true worthless people demons. Oh, the horribleness of Instagram and TikTok and all that, right there in a clouded or repulsive gas that comes out of their mouths and bodies. Oh, kids would have been all over that. They love gross things so much. That would have made the comic go so big if this comic could have gone somewhere. But no, right? Look, not one shaking ass. I guess I can't, I guess I can't, I can't go big time unless you put a shaking ass there. But look, none, not one. Uh, uh I refuse, right? So of course, nut job squirrels start coming back, right? Like, ooh, watch out, here comes shaking ass again, right? It's gonna do it's like he's pointing at me, like, ooh, ass will move. It's gonna move in your face. Everyone, like, it's gonna this giant, like, the whole world for these people is one giant shaking squirrel ass without even an anus to make it real. So I pick up, pick up nut job squirrel and throw it down again to shut off the sickness, right? Like a switch. We're clear on that, right? Yes. So why in the comments were well, the people going, oh, oh, what? How does squirrel go? Is going up down? What? Why is it exploding on the floor? What did we? What did we happen here? I know how to pick up a squirrel. You know how to pick up a squirrel. We don't need to prove it to each other. Well, we don't need to go meet up at the park somewhere and go, oh, well, let's go find a squirrel so we can take turn picking it up and putting it down again so we know. I 
I spent so much money getting someone to draw this for me. That was all the money I had. You know, the least you can do is buy one of my audiobook. I mean, at least Muppet's not going to screw with me anymore. Unlike you people ever will do.